What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Dr. Hammerstein and today we'll be doing a speed ramp temperature Geekbench and a 3D mark test over here between two very powerful flagship phones. In the first corner here, we have the Galaxy S22 Ultra and it's going up against the latest iPhone 14 Pro Max. So before we go any further, we of course like to check out the temperatures before we start. And in the room here in, it is at about 27.2 on the phone. S22 Ultra 35.8. Here 34.2, so a little bit cooler here. So the first test like we like to do is to boot these two phones up and we will see which one would start faster. Normally Samsung phones do have a very slow boot up. Both of these two phones have been charged up to 100%, so we are going to check out the battery as well by the end of this video. And boom, like I mentioned, very slow on the Samsung device. On the iPhone, it's all right in here. Works really, really fast. And let's give it some time for the S22 Ultra, which is running the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. And it's up against the A16 Bionic chip on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Okay, and as we can see here, everything's all just ready to go. Whereas on the Samsung device, it does take some time to load up all the apps. And before I go any further, again, I'm going to show you on both of these two phones. Both of them are connected to the same Wi-Fi network and Bluetooth is off. Only location and Wi-Fi is on on both of these two phones. In terms of the display settings, both of them are maxed out over here and both of them are running in at 120 Hertz. And of course, every other form of connection is disabled. And also just want to show you guys, these are the apps that we are going to test out and all apps have been closed on both of these two phones to make this a fair comparison. So let's check out the temperatures here. 35.1, still very good. And on the S22 Ultra, 36.1. So a difference of one degrees, which is quite a lot. And now let's go on to the test. So one, two, three, let's go. Okay, so we are done here with the iPhone and the S22 Ultra. For some reason, it always kind of refreshes over here, but it is slower compared to the iPhone. Let's go to Pokemon Go. Okay, it looks like the iPhone does have a lead over here. And boom, we are done. Whereas on the S22 Ultra, it does take some time to Finish this up. Now let's go on to the next one, YouTube. Okay, I think the iPhone does take this. Go to Instagram, pretty neck and neck. PUBG Mobile, very huge have over here. Let's see which one would come out on top. I think the iPhone is just blazing ahead of the S22 Ultra, which shows that it's already done. Whereas on the S22 Ultra, it's still taking a lot more time. Wow, this one really making the device here look really, really bad. And finally, I think, oh no, still some more time. And finally, we are all done with the S22 Ultra. So let us just go back to the home screen. Next up, Google Chrome. Okay, surprisingly, the iPhone does go faster. Let's go for the temperatures. 35.6 and on the S22 Ultra, 36.3, okay. And then now let's go to Facebook. Okay, about the same, let's go to Shopee. Okay, surprisingly the S22 Ultra finally does have a win. Let's go that one more time. Okay, I think the S22 Ultra settings. Okay, about the same. Let's go to Manchester United. After that 6 3 loss, let's see if the app is down and it's still there. I think the iPhone does take the cake. Premier League, super fast on the iPhone. 
Let's go to Netflix. Okay, done here. Although with a longer animation, let's go to the camera app. Okay, and then let's test out the shutter button. Okay, this one will go to the night mode, which I think I will turn off. Let's see. There is a bit of a lag on the S22 Ultra, which is pretty interesting. And let's go on to the TikTok. Okay, I think slightly just a hit on the S22 Ultra. Twitter. Okay, done here. Finally, some win. And let's go to the stores, app stores. Okay, on the S22 Ultra, and there we have it. So let's check out the temperatures at the end of this speed test. So this 6.1, 36.7, so definitely warmer on the S22 Ultra. Okay, now let's do a RAM test. So, okay, still running on both of these two phones, although this one did kind of shock me by giving me some start over there. Again, both also doing quite well. 6 gigs of RAM up against 12 gigs of RAM. Well, we all know about that when it comes to the RAM management on iOS devices. Okay, still holding up very, very well. Let's go to a few more apps. Okay. No refreshes at all. Very, very good. Finally, Instagram, which is a common app a lot of people use. No refreshes at all. Facebook as well, all working flawlessly here in terms of RAM management. And of course, before we go any further, let's check out the temperatures. 36.2 and on the S22 Ultra, 36.6. Okay, and now I'm going to do a GPU test over here on both of these two phones. So both of them are going to export this into 4K at 30 FPS. And we are going to see which one would come out on top. Looks like the iPhone is a hit, just a little bit ahead of the S22 Ultra. Very, very interesting indeed. And race to the finish. It seems like I think the iPhone did have a lead, but it did start off a bit faster compared to the S22 Ultra. Maybe because of my fingers or something, but both of them really, really fast when it comes to video export. All right, so now I'm going to do a Geekbench test on both of these two phones and temperature wise. 36.1 on the 40 Pro Max and on the S22 Ultra, 36.8, so definitely warmer, which is quite not surprising when it comes to Samsung phones. So let's open up both of these two phones and run the test. One, two, three, let's go. And we're gonna see you at the end where we do get the results. Battery wise here has gone down by 4%, whereas on the iPhone, still showing 100%. Okay, so we are done with the iPhone. Amazing, amazing score here. Almost hitting the 2K mark. Multi-core score as well, really, really impressive. Whereas on the Samsung device, definitely it's taking some more time compared to the iPhone. And we are just going to check out some of the history when it comes to scores. So if we go to the CPU score, these are the results that we've been getting, 1,800. About there, so again, still around a very, very good score. Multi-core score again, 5,005. And let's just give some time for the Samsung device to finish up. And while we do that, temperature-wise on the iPhone, 36.3, very, very good indeed. Okay, so finally we are done with the Samsung device. Again, the score has gone down to 778. Temperature-wise, 37.3. And if we check out the history scores, it did show you that only once it hit the 1K mark. Normally, it gives me about 700. And I've done this test multiple, multiple times, as we can see. And now let's go back to the Geekbench test. We are going to run a compute test. And again, we're going to see which one would come out on top. One, two, three, let's go. Yes. 
Okay, and again, not surprising, we are done with the iPhone 15,471. Very, very impressive scores. 36.2 in terms of temperature. So again, very, very good. And on the Samsung device, it's definitely taking a bit more time. And again, I did do this test multiple times. So you can see that the scores we'll be getting is fairly, fairly consistent. 15,500 and above, which is really, really good. And let's give some time for the Samsung device to finish up. Okay, so we are done and 5,852, very, very different compared to the iPhone, which is, and temperature wise, 37.5. And let's check out the history as well. As we can see there, as we've always been getting about 5,000, so a lot of difference over here. All right, and of course, last test we have here is the 3D mark test. And before we go any further, temperature wise, 36.3 and on the S22 Ultra, 36.3 as well. So we're gonna run this Wildlife Extreme. Then, and when it comes to battery wise, 97 up against 91%. One, two, three, let's go. Okay, so we are done with the iPhone. Nice scores over here, 3,172. Up against 2,000 on the S22 Ultra. Frame rate as well, 19 up against 13.5, and definitely this one felt much smoother compared to the S22 Ultra. Temperature wise, 37.3, and on the S22 Ultra, 36.5. So finally, a win in terms of the temperature management on the S22 Ultra. Okay, so there we have it. These are all the tests and results that we've been getting on both of these two phones. So if you guys did enjoy this video, do click the like and smash the subscribe button down below for more videos like this in the future. And so do follow me on my social as well on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and also here on YouTube at Dr. Hammerstack. So this is it. This is Dr. Hammerstack. Stay safe, take care, and wash those hands.